Okay, what we're going to demonstrate now is how to increase mobility in the big toe joints. So in other words, the first two specific joints here, directly where the metatarsals attach to the toe, and then we have a smaller joint up here. We actually have three on the other toes, but only two on the big toe. So if we're trying to increase mobility, we basically found that Leanne here has pretty good mobility. I can actually move her toe around pretty good through all ranges of motion. You don't feel any restriction in your toe much there. I mean, but for a lot of people, they may get stuck and you'll, you'll feel like, oh, I can only move it this far and I can only bring it down, you know, barely. And rotation is, is just totally rigid. For those individuals, this is a great exercise for increasing mobility in the joint. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to take our one hand and grasp it around the joint. So we have to kind of lock out that joint. And then we're going to take it and bring it back. And we're going to do this one maybe about five times. Moving through each range of motion. And then we're going to take it the other direction, taking it out about five times. So we've gone forward, we've gone back, we're doing flexion extension. We're going to take it out to the side here, referred to as abduction, away from the center line. Can you feel that in the joint a little bit? Or, mm -hmm. yeah. And then we're going to take it in, kind of, but make sure you really lock out the joint and then take it in. Good. And then we're going to apply some rotation to it. So we actually just take it to end range. In range, keep going one direction, about five times. Good. Is your toe coming off? Feels good. <laughs> <laughs> nice <Yeah>. massage. <laughs> <laughs> that works. And then we'll take it the other direction. So it just goes aside here. Excellent. And as I mentioned, there's two specific joints you need to work. So after we've gone through this one, we'd actually move up and you want to lock out that joint right here. And then we go through the same directions, taking it forward, back, out to the side, inwards with rotation. Why don't you just work on that outside one there? Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll the one on top? Okay. Sure. So that sounds good. Okay. okay, excellent. You feel that restrict? Kind of opening up a little bit? Yeah. Even though you're not restricted in motion, though, you can still feel it. It's like a good stretch, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Adduction. So this will really help you to get mobility so that you'll be able to push off better with your foot during just normal walking during your phases of gait. Excellent. When your toe is really rigid and restricted, you're going to create abnormal motion compensations throughout your entire foot, your ankle, and it's going to cascade up the whole uh, leg. So what starts out here is just a restriction in the big toe can actually affect ankle motion, it can create knee problems, even hip problems. Uh, we usually don't think of that when we think of the big toe, but a very, very important joint.